everyone, and welcome to the newest edition of The Insider, the ongoing video series that keeps you up to date on all things IPW. I'm your host, J-Rod. Battlefield took place on August 20th, and it was the land of opportunity. Former IPW champion Red Jones announced he would be getting a number one contenders match for yet another shot at IPW champion Carter Gray. He was interrupted almost immediately by LaDon Sanders, who would be Red's opponent in said number one contenders match in the main event. Ryan Mathias, let it be known, he was ready to drop the dead weight and shoot for the stars on his own. A pissed off Mathias vented his frustrations of being booked in the opening contest of the night instead. His opponent would be his former tag team partner, KJ Reynolds. It was very clear that these two used to be partners as they knew each other inside and out, leading to a match of the year candidate. Reynolds earned the hearts of the IPW fans, but it wasn't enough as Matthias pulled off the big win and officially put Reynolds in his rear view. Hype Jimmy Shall Win has been betrayed by both Jason DeMilo and Max Morrison within the past year and has clearly developed some trust issues. Shell Win asked management not to put him in tag team action, yet he was booked alongside Felix Morio. While the two have teamed up together in the past, Shelton was very reluctant to proceed with the match, even offering to just face their opponents the Golden Standard in a handicap match. Chad Alpha and Kyler Coleman double teamed Hype all night long as Hype absolutely refused to tag Morio in. A reckless Chad Alpha accidentally struck his partner Kyler Coleman several times in the match, and Coleman was fed up with his lack of remorse, so Coleman walked out on Alpha, leading to a Shell win and Morio victory. Hype was happy with the victory, but he's still sleeping with one eye open. As for Alpha and Coleman, it's official, the golden standard is no more. Will either of them move up in the ranks as singles competitors or look for new allegiances? The next contest saw the undefeated Bedrick Bison first fan favorite rock star, Mondo Real. Both of these athletes had very impressive showings in their last match. Real going toe to toe with IPW champion Carter Gray and Bison pulling off a huge victory in his debut against LaDon Sanders. Bison would keep the streak alive as he picked up yet another big victory. Brutus Atwell swamp stomped his way to the ring to celebrate his 100th day reign as Michiana champion. Atwell was set to face Ray Torres at Grand Slam, but got his dates mixed up and showed up to Battlefield with no opponent schedule. He made the offer to anyone that wanted a challenge for his title, and Kyler Coleman returned to ringside to make a challenge. These two were tag team partners throughout 2021 until Coleman turned his back on Atwell. The Big Swamp Daddy would finally get his revenge with another successful defense of his title. Jason DeMilo, very upset with the antics of Terry Van Avery and Josh Raymond at Aftermath, so he called out Van Avery for a rematch, this time fair and square. It has been speculated that Terry Van Avery has a drinking problem, and sure enough, he came to the ring with a beer, visibly intoxicated. My broadcast partner Derek Wolf even said he smelled liquor when he walked by Van Avery before the start of the event. Van Avery knew it wasn't best to compete in his state, so he declined DeMilo's challenge. But DeMilo attacked him anyway, and a match began without Van Avery's consent. Van Avery once again outsmarted DeMilo and weaseled his way into another victory. However, DeMilo executed a calculated attack on Van Avery's left knee, leading to a minor injury. IPW's medical team has suspended Van Avery from competition until heat on September 10th, so he will not be in action at Grand Slam. Derek Wolf would take the time to announce that he has put together a huge match between himself and his former intern Solo. This match will take place at Grand Slam, and it will be an iPad on a pole match. A contest like this has never been seen in IPW, and we're surely looking forward to it. Swag champ Ren Jones has a history of overlooking his opponents. Ren was the odds-on favorite to win the Fade of Eight tournament, but did not take Carter Gray seriously and was upset in the finals. At Road to Glory, Ren went into the rematch with Gray and took him lightly, leading to yet another loss. The Colonel clapping cheeks, LaDon Sanders, on the other hand, is known for big upsets. Fans will remember that Sanders spoiled the welcoming party of national star Myron Reed at last year's Grave Danger in the eventual match of the year. Although the match had all the ingredients of an upset, it was not to be, as Ren Jones secured the big victory and yet another chance at the IPW Championship. However, it has been brought to our attention that Carter Gray will not be competing at IPW Grand Slam. Ren Jones has yet to comment, but he is contractually obligated to appear at Grand Slam so we can't wait to hear what the swag champ has to say. 
That concludes this edition of The Insider. Join us on September 3rd at Grand Slam as we begin the first ever triple header, three weekends, three events.